What's going on nation? Today we're going to talk about the barbell incline chest press. Now a lot of people think in the gym that when they do this exercise that they're only going to be hitting the upper chest or the pec major. But the reality of the matter is you're going to be stimulating muscle fiber throughout the entire chest during this exercise, which also includes the pec minor. Now you might see people in the gym who have a really nice upper chest. Now obviously you can work towards that. Some people just have the genetics to have a bigger upper chest. But as long as you're training, lifting heavy weight, and eating correctly, you can get a big upper chest as well. So some key points we're going to talk about before we get into this exercise is how you're going to actually place your body in the seat and what you're going to do before you even touch the bar. Now the first thing you want to do obviously is sit down, okay? And once you sit down in the seat, you're going to lay back. As you lay back, you're going to pinch your shoulder blades together. Pinching your shoulder blades together is going to help take tension off your shoulder and rotator cuff and allow you to do a more powerful lift. Now what you're also going to do is you're going to bring your elbows in a little closer to your rib cage to help alleviate some tension from your anterior deltoid. Now it's a lot easier, and I'm sure you guys see people in the gym do it all the time, to bench really high like this. But in time you're going to become a lot stronger and you're going to take a lot more pressure off your shoulder if you want to bench the right way, which is bringing your elbows down just a little bit like that so you feel more of the work through the tricep and the chest. Now you're also going to make sure that your elbows are underneath your wrists and that you're squeezing the bar as hard as you can. So I'm going to lay back right now and what I want you guys to do is I want you to keep, keep an eye on my form. I'm going to do five reps and see if you can see some of the things that I was talking about. But one more thing, when you lay back, this is more of a per personal preference for me, you can put your feet out here or you can bring them back. I like to bring mine back a little bit like this. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to be flexing my glutes and my core throughout this exercise, but you want to make sure that your butt doesn't come up off the pad. It's okay to have a bit of an arch in your back, you don't have to be totally flat, just make sure your butt stays down. And just for me personally, when I have my feet back like this, I feel more comfortable. Now the way I'm going to get my shoulder blades together is, I like to do it right here and just kind of wiggle, but what you're actually doing is bringing them together like this. So this is what you basically look like when you're on the pad. So I'm going to get into my position, just like that. I'm going to put my hands in the bar, and like I said, when you grab the bar, you're going to make sure that your elbows are under your wrists. Shoulder blades are together, glutes are tight, core is tight. Now I'm going to do five quick reps. So let's pay attention. Just like that. Now, for some of you, you might not be able to go down all the way to your chest. If you feel a lot of tension in your rotator or the back of your shoulder, just go down as low as you can. But if you're pinching those shoulder blades together, you should be able to get all the way down. So, that's how I do a barbell incline chest press. Comment in the comment section below. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.